<laughs> Robin. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Thank you, yes, Stacey Keach. We won't Truly. let you down. Or will we? Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Another mm. fucking snowstorm heading our way, huh? Mm. This yes. is one of those real winters <laughs> they talk about. What's the matter, Danny? Oh, I think the computer was fucking up again. Wow. <laughs> no, he hit his thing. I think the computer was oh. fucking up. I was so happy. Bang. <laughs> Another storm uh, rolling through. Uh, real winter for the Northeast. It's been quite a while. I remember when I was a kid, you used to have a lot of these storms, snow piling up. You go out in your little snow suit. It's up to your head. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, snow, the snow lasted the whole winter. That's right. And uh, this seems to be what we're on track for. Uh, snow's been on the ground now since the first time it snowed. <laughs> for a while. And it just hasn't stopped. I'm waiting for my pool cover to to fall into my pool. Is this uh, global warming? What, what do we got going on here? Because uh, Canada is yeah. unusually warm this winter. Well, that's odd. Which is fucked up because they're like above us. Yeah, they're the ones that are supposed to... Uh, they're way cold above air us. comes down here and fucks us up. They're way up there. They're up. You're they're pointing up. up at the ceiling. Yeah, that's where they are, though. Yeah. And then they're getting snow down in the south. So what the fuck's going on? Canada's supposed to be real cold. Yeah. I don't get it. They, uh, I like their global warming cop out because uh, when when the temperatures were kind of ticking up and we were getting these unusually warm winters and whatnot, uh, people were like, "Hey, global warming, we're ruining the globe. Mm -hmm. This sucks. This sucks." And then after the first uh, uh, the, the first few years lately that we've been getting colder winters with more snow, they say they changed their whole thing and went, "Well, global warming doesn't necessarily mean warming. We changed the name of it now to climate change mm -hmm. because it can mean." That it's going to get cold. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense when it starts getting cold and they were calling it global warming to change the fucking name. A rose by any other name stills a bunch of bullshit. I, I, think, <laughs> I think we're fucking up the planet somehow. Yeah, we got to be, but uh, we're natural occurrences I on think, this globe. I think we're messing with the weather a little bit. Yeah. I really do. But, but, but bugs do. Like animals do. We're just another animal that's fucking with the planet. But the planet's fine. The planet's fine. Yeah, there is a fuckload of planets where nothing is happening. You ever see? You ever see uh, 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 the Earth from space? No. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never been up I there. I went up there uh, once on an acid trip. Yeah, I never. Really, no, I went, never I, really saw it. I've seen way. some satellite pictures, mm -hmm. and uh, you look down, and it doesn't look like the Borg planet. There's not like lights and speckles all over the place. of light. The most part, you look and go, there's nobody there. There's just nobody home. Yeah, that would. Uh, that would. That's because the pictures were taken at night. Oh, Everyone, nah, everyone's lights were out. All oh, right, they were sleeping. <laughs> they were snoozing. They were snoozing. They're snoozing. I'm snoozing. Yeah, I would like to think there's not a lot of people around, but fuck, I, I live in Manhattan. Yeah, well, that's okay. one of the concentrated areas. At any second, you're gonna punch someone in the face. There's so many people around. That is true. Doing stupid shit. This is true. Look at Australia. I mean, that place has got nothing. A couple of cities, and then the rest is nada. Where is Australia on that map? Right oh, there. it's that big thing. And look how big Australia is. Now now go to the right and look at the ocean. That's a little piece of an ocean of the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like ten Australias. More. And it's just yeah. And it's just a little piece of the South Pacific. There is nothing. We could fish the shit out of things. We could drill oil. We could bellow fucking smoke into They're the atmosphere. They're saying we can't fish. Uh, like, uh, oh, we're, my, look uh, at the size of the ocean. Imagine trying to catch every human being we're, on a hook. We're starting There's more fish. We're starting to eat ugly looking fish that taste bad because Tell we, me about it. Because oh we've God. overfished the waters. That's, remember, a, that's a fact. Remember a date? <laughs> it's eating an ugly fish. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> she smelled bad and looked bad. Oh, that's a good one. That was an Abe Vigoda reference. Uh, but it's like there's so much ocean out there. Oh, boy. Here's your video of the day. Uh, video shows doors stuck open on speeding Metro North train. So what's going to happen? Everyone just stay away from stay the away door. Stay away from the door. They'll fix it at the next station. Let's all relax. Yeah, I bet it was cold, though. But this guy... Yeah. That's okay. So long. I think those people are idiots going to stand here right by the door. But, uh, um... Yeah. That's really unsafe. Should Why they is he stop showing the train? The I mean, is there a way? Should they have notified somebody? What do you What do you make of it? Absolutely, they should have notified somebody. I mean, that's notified. something that requires somebody to, to go ahead and put them in a suit. press the alarm and make sure that 
If anybody can die, what happens if they die? They're going to say, oh, I'm sorry. Eventually, the door closes on its own with a little push from the passenger. Next We've been a the news. video disturbs them, too, and they're investigating the malfunction, which a railroad union official oh. blames on a frozen circuit that That's controls right. the yes. doors and should have also alerted a conductor. A spokesman says all doors are now being inspected, and this 40-year-old car is out of service for repairs. Is there anything more tattletail than this? Who gives a shit? So, lessons to be learned from this. Well, first of all, uh -oh. never lean on a moving oh, train the door. Fuck up. For this very they reason, really also, Metro filling. North says if you ever Safety. see a door open with the train running, move much further away from oh, it really? than you see passengers I thought you'd move in that closer video to it, doing. You stupid and bitch. by all means, call over a conductor. They can close it manually. But one rider on this train told us that a conductor was told and never came back there. Metro oh, North Karen. says this is a very unusual occurrence. Unusual. But they claim that no conductor was ever told right. that's the latest this morning and then they asked for more money no. is that news a door got stuck open on the train right someone filmed it so they show people this is how they created that story they show people outside and ask them to comment what are people going to say mm -hmm. no no it's good the door's open mm -hmm. great the door's open we want more doors open and then some dumb advice make sure you, you oh. move away from the open door yeah, really they the gotta give you the, i didn't know you, you were supposed to do that <laughs> gotta give you the safety advice for the story the news just sucks it's so bad and 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 then the and and uh, what we can learn from this? Don't lean up against doors. Really, yeah. you could spend the next twenty years of your life leaning up door, leaning up against a door, and, and guess what? Nothing. You'll be completely fine. It's one of those rare fucking things that happens. Ugh! Stupid fucking news. News is asinine. Uh, you guys watch the Obama. I uh, watched uh, some Obama uh, State of the Union address. Let me My guess, you God. hated it. Uh, no, actually, <laughs> actually, uh, let me guess. I thought, I thought the lighting was very good and let the me sound guess. quality. Uh, of, of let me guess, you were screaming good. at your TV. I was at the part where, you know, we had to reiterate that the um, tax cuts are temporary and mm. that millionaires should do their part. To, oh, it's like, no, fuck it. Fuck How about up. you cut everything? Just cut all your fucking pocket stuffing bullshit. Uh, with your cronyism. Yeah, how about you and your family stop taking fucking eight hundred thousand dollar vacations? Yeah, I know all presidents take them. How about we save it that way? But if everyone's taking big, making big sacrifices, how about you start and yeah. maybe Michelle doesn't go over to Europe with with her yeah. friends and a fucking a full contingent of bodyguards? And how you about don't that? Have giant cotillions at the White House with uh, international dignitaries eating uh, uh, drinking champagne, champagne cocktails high in the Sierra Mountains. So, I guess you didn't like it. No, I hated it. Of course you did. I know. Did you hate it as soon as you saw Michelle Obama? Even though she didn't do anything but walk in? That woman's got some shoulders on her. She's got big hips. She's a big woman. She's got the big hips. She is a big, big woman. She's got the big hips where you know she's wearing stretchy underwear. She's got to be. Sexy, though. She goes with the sexy. Sexy? Uh, but aren't they too big? Sexy. You ever see sexy underwear that's much too big? Well, they, they're stretching too far <laughs> on the sides. It's like... I've always hated that. Uh, you look in the store or something, and you're walking down the uh, foundations aisle, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you see the, the supposed sexy underwear, but it's much too big. You know what I liked about uh, the State of the Union, and this is as far as I got into it? The empty seat. Very empty emotional. Seat. That's, uh, For you the know, Giffords. It's like the missing man formation. Uh, Very fighter, emotional. Fighter pilots. Some asshole had to fucking stand somewhere because uh, they had to have an empty seat, to get, empty seat to get us all emotional. That's so he could turn and say, and we should be conscious of the empty seat uh -huh. here tonight. And, uh, you know, he wanted to say I would have been the asshole. Is that seat taken? Yeah, is that? Yeah, imagine some is dummy just goes. There's an empty seat. I'm moving up, walking down the aisle. Sits is that, down. Is that? I, 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 that just empty be cool seat. Guy. <laughs> He's eating a Sunday like George Costanza at the <laughs> yeah. game. He's got chocolate all over his face. <laughs> is that? A, I think that's an empty seat. I'm moving down. down. I'm moving down, dude. I'm moving down. I hope the usher doesn't notice. <laughs> fucking ushers, go fuck yourselves. Oh. I'm going to give out a lot of fuck yous today. Oh, Stupid fucking ushers at sporting events looking for a handout when you see an empty seat below. Are you kidding? They look to get paid off? You don't know that? No. I, didn't, I actually didn't know that. You don't know that? No. I did not. No, I really Is that didn't. commonplace? Yeah. Uh, it's common in New York. These guys watch their seats like fucking hawks, and if you try to move down, they go, Hey, you can't sit there. 
Oh, but you give them a five spot, they'll they'll let you sit there. Wow, really? probably more than five at this point. Yeah, you don't know that, dude. No. I swear to God, these guys. I don't fucking, know how to bribe people. I've never knew known how to do it. They watch their areas. <laughs> as soon as you move down, they know and they come running. They come running. Jimmy, I would be so afraid of getting thrown out. I, I don't know how. Who? Jimmy just goes. Thought we could take care of it right here at the <laughs> garden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my ticket. I uh, I don't have my ticket. <laughs> Dude, I, I had no idea that you could bribe you. Right? That's great. And you're supposed to tip them when they show you your seat, even though you sit there for Not every my fucking Oh, really? Game. I don't tip. They have a weird, dirty rag, <laughs> and they kind of make believe they're brushing your seat off for you. And then if you don't tip, you hear them go. <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. I tip, by the way. Some jobs dictate you tip, some don't. But you don't really. Ha I don't think uh, it's necessary. No. But man, yeah, you try to move down, they're fucking looking for their hand out. You want to go through the State of the Union? Of course. It was the big story last night. The president... Um, Not the big story in my household. On the heels of uh, the Tucson shooting coming out, State of the Union address, and uh, a very, uh, you know, you know, people were very upset about it, a lot of liber uh, liberals, that he didn't bring up gun control. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, well, because he knows what what happens he loses even more people from uh, the house and, and the senate and <laughs> after watching the way the media tried to pass off this this guy's shooting on sarah palin's oh. metaphorical target like after i have such a dis fucking disdain for them and uh, they really have kept their mouth shut. Have you, it's funny how they have not continued. Where's the rhetoric talk? Yeah, where is Where's it? all the media with the rhetoric talk that it turns out that he was a fucking left-wing radical? Which, it, again, it's not their fault that he did it. But where, where is it? They yeah, just, come on. Where the fuck is the media yapping now that he, his friends even said he didn't like Bush and he didn't like right-wing talk or, radio? Or even admitting that, you know, perhaps uh, some of the reporting was a little... Um, biased. Biased and, and wrong and... Uh, but no, you'll never see that. The story disappeared. All of a sudden, it's not Sarah Palin anymore, but no one will say it. And uh, this guy's there grinning in a courtroom like a lunatic. And uh, But he's nuts. He is crazy. This guy is right. batshit nuts. He's just nuts. There's no looking for answers. He's just a crazy mother. No, we no. love answers. Sometimes there isn't one. Sometimes he's nuts. just a crazy person. He's a nut. And Gifford's condition has been upgraded to good from serious. Yeah. This is going to... Rehab this, stuff. This broad's gonna be playing tennis soon, man. Yeah, it's amazing. Good to serious. I mean, she's coming to work here at Serious uh, XM. <laughs> no, Chip, she's not. Oh. Although, who knows? <laughs> know. They'll probably give her a show. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ! I just had a few titles go through my head, and I filtered it. See, this is how the uh, Obi and Anthony show filter works. You get a thought in your head, and before you spit it out. 99% of the times we filter it so we don't get in trouble. 1% sure. of the time it slips out and we get in trouble. But yeah. that time right there, I thought better than to make a, a joke about uh, her condition and this place. And no way. I had no desire called. to do that or to say how this should probably be perfect in a management level position. <laughs> well, okay, well, that's funny because uh, scooping on the management. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was not going to uh, say that at all. Yes. <laughs> Obama State of the Union. Uh, Obama. A couple highlights for everybody. We're telling America's scientists and engineers that if they assemble teams of the best minds in their fields and focus on the hardest problems in clean energy, right. we'll fund the Apollo projects of our time. At the California Institute of Technology, they're developing a way to turn sunlight and water into fuel for our cars. Yeah, hydrogen. At Oak Ridge National Laboratory, they're using supercomputers to get a lot more power out of our nuclear facilities. Supercomputers. With more research and incentives, we can break our dependence on oil with biofuel. How does he not know if they're using supercomputers? Someone has to tell him before he makes that speech. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He doesn't know the difference, they, whether they're using supercomputers to get a... Supercomputers. <laughs> supercomputers. <laughs> they're yeah. using supercomputers. One of those two. Well, soup is very delicious. And the Apollo Project, it's all about black people, isn't it? You know, <laughs> that line kind of pissed me off. Because he's the guy that uh, pretty much uh, put the kibosh on the Back to the Moon project, which people would go, oh, well, that's another expense. It's a lot of money, blah de blah de blah But do you know how, many technolo how much technology and jobs and new uh, technology and things he's talking about here? He's talking about the next Apollo project. Well, that is where a lot of technology that this country was famous for making came from, the space program. And he's decimating it. In order to give money, I don't know where else, mm -hmm. and, and tax the fuck out of everybody, yet 
no money goes to these uh, programs that do make jobs and do make uh, uh, technology and uh, and uh, innovation so so we can have jobs here in this country and invent things again like we did during the Apollo program. So he evokes the name of the Apollo program, and yet uh, what he's doing is tearing apart NASA and uh, pretty much restricting them to having to take um, Russian ships up to the space station because we now don't have a space program. Maybe he just thinks it's a waste of time, and there's no more new technology to be had. Well, maybe, but they thought that, too, <laughs> back in the 60s. Oh, I understand. You can't when be, John Kennedy... you got to be open-minded. We will go to the moon and do those other things. I love when he goes to those other things. It's like, what was that? Keep your head on? Uh, <laughs> Oops, that other thing didn't quite work. <laughs> going uh, backwards, Rob in Garden City. Rob. Backwards. Yeah, um, when I was a kid, me and my uh, father would go to Shea Stadium, and uh, he knew he would buy, like, the cheapest tickets, like $10 tickets, and he would go to a certain gate, and uh, he would just hand the guy 50 bucks, and uh, we would just be able to sit down, like, three rows behind the third base dugout, now, and he knew what seats, like, never got used, and if by any chance they would happen to show up, he'd just move us to another seat. Now, 50 bucks, oh, wait, the usher, would, the usher would move you? Yeah, just the guy that's in that area. That's each. Actually, the musician usher. And if you pay the come down, and <laughs> if you pay, if you pay the usher, then they would take care of you, make sure they would move you around if uh, the seat they put yeah. you in, if the but guy showed up. Fifty oh. bucks now. What year was that though? That's that's that sounds more like it. What year was that? That was like in the mid, like maybe uh, late nineties. It's a major when scam, was, especially at baseball uh, games. Major. Yeah, there's so many. You're, of them. Not, you're not yeah, just moving fun. down uh, for free. There's oh. no way you could get away with it. Wow, I didn't know you could do it at all, though, dude. That's great news. Oh. The game I, went to, I got to sit right behind, the, uh, like right on the third base dugout, like setting my drinks and food right on the dugout. Right. Wow, uh, I, for like for like ten bucks. Those are yeah. great seats when you can put your beer on the dugout. I never I've been only that had, close. I've only had that seat once, and it's such a great fucking seat. Yeah, man. It really is. Just put your beer down. Yeah, lean on the dugout. Wave. Uh, all right, oh, sir. Back to the State of the Union. Well, with biofuels. And become the first country to have a million electric vehicles on the road by 2050. Wow! <laughs> we need to get behind this innovation. And to help pay for it, I'm asking Congress to eliminate the billions in taxpayer dollars we currently give to oil companies. I don't know if uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but they're doing just fine on their own. <laughs> oh, shit, a little joke, a little Obama joke. I, I agree with that though. Like, uh, fucking put the money into alternative energy instead of giving billion. I don't want my tax dollars going to the oil companies. He could ask all he wants. It's not going to happen. I don't know what kind of tax breaks the oil companies are getting. Uh, what what it's being used for. Um, I know the oil companies don't just pump oil out and, and make money all the time. Uh, they're doing very well right now, that's for sure. But uh, research and development is a huge part of uh, oil companies. It is. They can't just keep pumping the same fucking wells. And we run right now, unfortunately, we still run on fossil fuel until that runs out and we've got to come up with something different. Obama wants a million electric cars on the road. Where's the electricity come from? Do people understand we don't pull it out of our assholes that it comes from fucking oil? Pumping fucking uh, electricity. Yeah, there's nuclear power plants too and stuff, but for the most part, it comes from fucking from d generators powered by fossil fuel. But we don't use as much oil that way, right? Is that well, not as much as uh, I would guess the olden days when we didn't have nuclear uh, power plants? I like the stuff. electric car thing, but I bet you if we uh, grab some audio from Jimmy Carter, he probably said the same thing. And oh, all the president in the seventies. I remember. I remember. We George should do w. a montage of, of State of the Union uh, promises. George W. Bush was saying the same fucking speech, and I'm sure Clinton said it about technology and how I'm we sure need the other Bush to. said it. Yeah. Why does it not get done though? Like I know it's a it's no, a hall. But, like, literally, we can have, like, I, I mean, a lot of the cabs you take now, because it saves them on gas, are, are uh, hybrids. And they're fucking, they always think they're running yeah. out of, they're, they're off. Yeah. They're so quiet. Yeah. But why don't we have that? The oil companies really do invest in and lobby against that shit. And that's where you got to kind of hate them. Yeah, but you know what? It's a business. If you were, no, I know. If, if you were putting out something, uh, if there was all of a sudden this, um, a solar paneled hysterical comedian that came rolling out onto a stage and made people laugh and laugh for and 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 the club owners 
didn't have to pay him a, a, a fucking paid him a buck every time they came out on stage, and they started going, Jimmy. Ah, you know, these guys are funny, these robot things, we pay them a buck. You'd be going like, I don't like these robot comedians. I, I, you're right, and I would be selfish about it, especially yeah. if most of my audience is what kept this country tied into these shit Mideast countries <laughs> like fucking Saudi Arabia. If my, especially if my audience was dependent on Saudi Arabia, then I, right. would, I, would, I would be selfish, but boy, would I be a selfish cunt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I hate the fucking Middle East, and I want out. With a passion. I want, our, I want oh, out. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what they do to each yeah, other. I know. I'm sick uh, of I depending agree. on them. Carolina man, oh, and hates entitlements, and NASA has never done anything but lost billions of dollars since the mid-'80s. You know what? And that's losing, probably what Obama's looking at. But losing money, then restructure, but losing money, you don't lose money when you invent things. Let's see what NASA has come up with that we use on a daily basis since the 80s till now and you tell me that's losing money it makes industry if if a company if, if a, a government agency and by the way show me one government agency that makes fucking money okay uh it doesn't happen nasa is make is 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 an innovative government agency they have a, a great minds and over the history of nasa uh, they've had their ups and downs, but for the most part, they have invented amazing fucking things. Why don't we privatize? Amazing things. Yeah, privatize. Why don't we whatever. privatize the space program? How about restructuring and just, just the waste? There's so much waste in government, and no one really addresses it because it's just like, oh, it's been there. It'll always be there. Fix the waste. What if they privatize it, though? It's not a bad, like, I've heard that talked about. Why is that bad for them to privatize it? I don't know. Uh, people are privatizing their own uh, space endeavors. You got, uh, what's his name there from Virgin? Uh, oh, Branson, yeah. Branson, he's doing his own thing. Um, a lot of people are, are, are trying to get into the space uh, program. But um, to say that NASA is losing money and wasting it is, is not accurate. It's not just like you're throwing money in and getting nothing out. You're getting amazing technology. G that fucking GPS system, right. The GPS system you're using in your car every fucking day. Thank you. Thank you, NASA. And the military. We invented Tang, by the way, Gregory. Tang is tang. our invention. Love the Tang. Yes, I do too. Especially the orange flavor. How about what you still sell Tang? Yes, they do. Uh, how about what you're listening to right the fuck now on Craigslist? <laughs> we, we would we would be uh, we'd be we out of a gig. Tang on Craigslist. Tang. <laughs> Where do you think satellite radio comes from? What do you think? They slingshot that shit up into space? We'd be out of a gig? We'd be out of a gig. Is that a bad thing? NASA, not necessarily. Okay, then who cares? Everything, uh, MRI, CAT scans, there's, there's so ah, much shit. We were going to invent that shit no matter what. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And exactly for him to say right. it was a waste is stupid. That's that's uh, very, very, uh, you're n n short sighted. Look at the big picture. NASA at least has given us technology that has made jobs, it's made complete industries. That this country exclusively owned for many years. All right. Obama talks about kids going to school and getting degrees. As many as a quarter of our students aren't even finishing high school. The quality of our math and science education lags behind many other nations. I wonder why. America's... Why? <laughs> because the students perhaps are distracted by unruly youths and teens. I saw some more videos of unruly teens yesterday. It was fantastic. Which one was that? The was one that, at Wendy's. Or not the IHOP one? The IHOP one. Yeah. Well, it's unruly teens. That's what I say now. I go, oh, fuck, look, an unruly just passed me. Oh, shit, an unruly won't get out of the way. That's my new word. You see unruly. Un you see unrulies every day? I see unrulies. They're, they're ev everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere you look? I see them all the time. Were you avoiding an unruly when you crashed your car? <laughs> no, I wasn't. That was purely my fault. I, I do not Sounds cast, like you were a little unruly. I do not cast blame, <laughs> although I was driving on unruly top. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> America's fallen to ninth in the proportion of young people with a college degree. Oh, huh. And so the question is whether all of us, as citizens and as parents, are willing to do what's necessary to give every child a chance to succeed. That responsibility begins not in our classrooms, no, but in our homes right. and communities. Oh, by having, uh, you know, parents. It's family that first instills the love of learning in a child. And what are you going to do about that? Only parents can make sure the TV is turned off and homework gets done. 
We need to teach our kids that it's not just the winner of the Super Bowl who deserves to be celebrated, but the winner of the science fair. Let's celebrate that nerd, because he won't be getting any pussy in high school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> science fair. Good old science. He's right. I, I mean, look, he's right about that. But it's it's this idealistic bullshit that, that like, anybody can say. It, it's... Uh, you, first of all, for your parents to say, turn off the TV and do your homework, you're already, you're already doing a great job. If you have to tell your, your child, hey, <coughs> shut the TV off, go inside and do your homework, you're already a family. Holy fuck, you're leaps and bounds ahead of the people that are fucking up out there. How about, how about where's our son? So I could tell him to do his homework. Homework? I don't even know if the motherfucker's in school. Turn off the TV? What TV? It was stolen last night. Exactly. Or at least ask the TV to stop talking so loud before you ask him to leave. <laughs> Transvestite joke. Yes, tranny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's idealistic stuff, which is fine. I mean, Kennedy spewed out a lot of idealistic stuff. Uh, but you know what? There was a certain passion in what he said and a belief in what he said. And the time in American history, we were very proud uh, as American people. Not as selfish, I think. Not as greedy. More united. Not as polarized. And I don't mean racially. I just, no, I, no, I just I mean think as you're a right. country. I think you're and right. we wanted, we were proud to be the greatest country on the face of the earth. We were proud that, like, look at what we invented. And now we, we uh, look at us, we give this to your world. And now it's like, oh, China's doing this, that, and we're just like, I gotta go work. Ah, leave me alone. I, I, uh, we don't care anymore. By the way, watching Obama's speech, and this is something that they're all guilty of. They, they all talk about how we have to work together and how this and that. We all have to curtail our speech. Mm. And when it's a Republican president, the Republicans stand up and clap, and the Democrats act like he just said AIDS is fun. Yeah. And the same thing when a Democrat speaks. Republicans sit on their fat asses. Fuck. They don't applaud. All of them. And they're if, if they can't applaud what, what he's saying uh, as, a, as a courtesy, that you know what I mean? Like, they're such fucking twats. Like, they expect us to have babies. a... babies. They talk about it being like a friendly discourse and respectful. Meanwhile, Hillary and Obama rip each other apart. Just like uh, McCain right. and whoever he... he yeah, uh, yeah. uh Beat in the primaries. And then all of a sudden they're on the same team. Same team. Like, Hillary, why didn't Hillary come out and go, you know what? I said that Obama sucked and I liked McCain, so I'm going to stick with McCain for the presidency. I, I believe in him. Like, that's what fucking... How phony they all are! It's phony and I'm babbling. I'm sorry. I'm tired. No, no, you're not. Because the way people don't realize the phoniness is it amazes me. Like that is blatant phoniness. How one day she can't stand him, and then all right, he wins the primary, she concedes, and now she likes his policies and what he does. You were just bashing him for being not having exper enough experience. If you remember, she said that um, his policies were too liberal. The, and and now, oh, he's great. I think McCain and Hillary. Would have been a really good ticket. Mm. Like, I think that would have been an interesting... I mean, the, the hardcore Republicans would have hated it because it's very liberal for a Republican. But, I mean, a lot better than fucking Sarah Palin. Better than Palin and McCain and better than Obama and Biden. Tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't dislike Obama. I kind of just wish he was a vice president and then became president after four or eight years of... Yeah. of like Kind of like uh, Bush uh, Sr. did. Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah. I would prefer that, because that would give him eight years or four years of experience. A little more experience. Yeah, and, uh, and then and put him in... Uh, Learn how things work, because this, this is going to be a four-year waste of dude, time. He really is an idealistic guy, and he walked in there thinking, like, I'm going to change everything. I don't think he's a complete liar at all. And then all of a sudden, it's like, you're not going to change everything. You're not. It's just the way it works. I don't think he's genuine in that uh, I hear what he says, and I just see it as the, the, the next ploy to get reelected. You are not going to see a sincere word out of this guy's mouth for two more years. Maybe because not. everything he does is going to be uh, a platform to be reelected. This, this is his first uh, reelection speech right now, is the State of the Union. Let's say hi to Mike in North Carolina. Mike! <laughs> Mikey! Hey, what's going on? What's up, Mike? Uh, Anthony, you're a funny guy, but you're driving me nuts. All right. Uh, you Where is he driving you nuts, boy? Is he driving them far from home? I'm doing accents today. I didn't <laughs> sleep a, a wink. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I didn't sleep a winky doodle. All right. Fun day. Go ahead, uh, sir. Uh, people like you are the reason why he can't get anything done. All right. Because... Queers? Because... because <laughs> 
because he's labeled a Democrat, because he's Obama, no matter what he says, you're going to criticize it. Two minutes ago, you just criticized him for telling parents to make their kids do their homework. I mean, really, can you really be... So because, here, yes, I can, because the, the problem is deeper than kids do your homework. Like I said, if you listen, if you're not listening to what I'm saying. I said, if you have a child in the house, and you have two parents, and they're telling their child, now shut that TV off and do your homework, you're winning the battle right there, because you're automatically, you have your child in the house, he's gone to school, he's come home, you're actually able to communicate to him to tell him to shut his TV, he's not out gangbanging or fucking uh, 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 shooting people or selling drugs. There are parents in the fucking house that give a shit. He's not pawned off on his grandmother because the mother's a crackhead and the father who fathered ten children is gone. That's an important issue as to why our education system sucks a <coughs> dick and our, 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 our uh, scores are low. Come on. That was an excellent point for television. He said sucks a dick. Well, yeah, I know. You can't say sucks a dick <laughs> on TV. That guy, we're an extreme channel there, Fez. <laughs> All right, let me uh, say hi to Reggie. Reggie. I love Ronnie. Oh, what's up, fellas? Hey. <laughs> Anthony, you son of a bitch. Why don't you just fucking say you hate him because he's a nigga? Every no. Thing this guy says everything he says. You fucking disagree with? Not because his policy. Because I don't agree with his policies. Of course, I'm not gonna agree with him because his policies are way too left and way too social. And I'm a fiscally conservative man. How did and he's against me? Yeah, I, I don't understand how Anthony got his subconscious to call. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so you would, you would hate Obama just as much as if he was white. I didn't like fucking Carter. I didn't like fucking. Uh, but you do uh, have a problem. That I he's didn't black, like Clinton. Right? You do have a problem. That he's black. No. Uh, because it affects his agenda. Uh, that's the only problem. I don't physically have a problem because I look at him and I see a black man as president of the United States. A lot of people want to pour that on me. That's not true. Like if it was Colin Powell and he was a Republican, you'd like right. him right. I would. Li I would be like, I don't care. He's a black guy. It's Colin Powell. I agree with a lot of his politics, um, aside from the fact that he went in front of the UN as a puppet and just babbled bullshit that oh. George Bush fed him. But uh, and that's where he lost everybody. By the way. Uh, but I don't look at Obama and go, oh, God damn, look, we got this Negro in the White House. I'm not like that. I look at him, though, and see, based on his track record and him as an activist in Chicago, that his blackness affects his agenda in a way I don't agree with. And that's the only problem I have with him being a black president. He should just be a president, not a black president. Get me? Thank you. State of the Union, Obama talks about rebuilding faith in government and being transparent. Oh. In the coming year, we'll also work to rebuild people's faith in the institution of government. Because you deserve to know exactly how and where your tax dollars are being spent, Christ. you'll be able to go to a website and get that information for the very first time in history. Oh, yeah? Because you deserve to know when your elected officials are meeting with lobbyists. I ask Congress to do what the White House has already done. Put that information online. And because the American people deserve to know that special interests aren't larding up legislation with pet projects, both parties in Congress should know this. Your special interest. If a bill comes to my desk with earmarks inside, I will veto it. How many? I will veto it. How many fucking earmarks? have been on bills he has signed because they're left-wing earmarks put in by his cronies. He's just talking about the Republicans and the right. He doesn't want to see any bills come across his desk with those earmarks on it. How about all the earmarks that were in the fucking uh, first draft of the, the health care bill? Stop it! Stop it! He's fucking lying! God! The only way to tackle our deficit is to cut excessive spending wherever we find Great, it. Great, do it. In domestic spending, defense spending, health care spending, yeah. and spending through tax breaks and loopholes. Oh, that's stupid. This means further reducing health care costs, including programs like Medicare and Medicaid, which are the single biggest contributor to our long-term deficit. The health insurance law we passed last year will slow these rising costs, which is part of the, the reason that nonpartisan economists have said that 
Repealing the health care law would add a quarter of a trillion dollars to our deficit. Uh, as opposed to what you added? Still, I'm willing to look at other ideas to bring down costs, including one that Republicans suggested last year. Yeah. Medical malpractice reform to rein in frivolous lawsuits. Good. Like that? Yes. I like that. The trial lawyers. That's good. How much does that cost, though? Is that one of those things you could just jump on and go, hey, everybody agrees with this. Yay. And it saves us uh, 20 bucks. Now, the lawsuits, uh, but the lawsuits <laughs> no, jack know, up they, insurance. Yeah, it's crazy. Sure they do. are. Uh, it's, it's like we were talking at the cell last night. It's like you don't know who to hate because you, you could, it's easy to criticize doctors. Like, fuck them. They charge too much. But then again, they pay a tr tremendous malpractice insurance. And they should because a lot of times they fuck up. But a lot of times they're, the lawsuits they have to deal with are things that are beyond their control. The frivolous it's, bullshit. The uh, lawsuits yeah. really make insurance a lot higher than it should be mm -hmm. people sue like this fucking dumb twat that fell into the uh the fountain the fountain yeah oh i saw an interview with her she's crying and if it was you you'd feel different and she's oh, retained the lawyer up. you looked like a you oh, look I just silly hate. so what Gives a fuck. you can't sue for looking silly because you aren't paying attention your fat ass was walking right into a fountain you dummy yeah you walked into a fountain because you were texting some some fucking Fat woman babble, which, well, the, which the, will lead to something we'll talk about after the break. What uh, a new law this lawmaker wants to make. Oh, great. Oh, yes. This I fucking thing is driving me yes. nuts. He's a Democrat. I don't even say I, I, what it is I, I will yet. only say this. He's a Democrat. And once again, I would just like to say for all you civil libertarians out there, yeah. will you stop sniveling that it's only conservatives who are trying to infringe on your civil liberties? This will you ass, stop it? This asshole's trying to pass a law that will drive everyone I got fucking one thing nuts. happens, and the first thing people do is, we must pass a right. law! Shut up! Can Some we... fat dummy fell in a fountain and it was funny. She's fine. She looked like an idiot on YouTube. Can we, Great. Can Join we the try club. to get this guy on the phone for after the break? Yeah, we could try. Please. Let's see if he wants to talk about his stupid law. Uh, more Obama from the State of the Whoa. Union. And if we truly care about our deficit, we simply can't afford a permanent extension of the tax cuts for the wealthiest 2% of Americans. Make sure you say 2%. Before we take money away from our schools or scholarships away from our students, we should ask millionaires to give up their tax break. Shut up! It's not a matter of punishing their success. Yes, it is. It's about promoting America's success. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! Just fuck you! Wow, you're saying fuck you to the president. Asking millionaires to give your fucking... I work my balls off. Shut up! I've worked for many years. I have a fucking a God-given talent for being a hysterical <laughs> <laughs> and doing voices. You are a, why should why should I have to chip in to something you think I should? What's that? Who the fuck chip? <laughs> why should I have to chip in <laughs> for something you think that I should do? Because you're the fucking president. Just, just stop already. I pay a fuckload of taxes. I just mailed one out. And that isn't even for April. I gotta get all my shit together and, and fucking send it off and pay more in April. And then again in July. And then again in fucking October. It, and again, just shut up. I pay enough. Fuck you. Get out of my pocket. It is, you know what? It's hard to argue with that. It's like, fuck. They, they just want to keep fucking taking more enough well that's what this law is all about that we're going to talk about i had to take a fucking about... pay, a pay cut here where i work but they don't take that into consideration they don't want to take more taxes out of the less money i make fuck you just go fuck yourself man i'm sick of it him is cronies fuck you and and, and the wealthiest uh let me make sure i say two percent which means 98% of you, wow, you're all under my fucking wing. Shut up. God, does this guy stink as the president? <laughs> oh, he just does. God, enough of you with the taxes. Cut the fucking, cut the spending. Cut your bullshit fucking program. Don't do shit spending. Ah. Fucking socialist commie. Enough of him. <laughs> God, two more years, please. 
Can somebody, Mitt Romney, anybody, just fucking get in there and take his job away? Send him back to Chicago with his tail between his legs. <laughs> Enough. Obama talks about gays in the military. Oh, okay. Tonight, let us speak with one voice in reaffirming that our nation is united in support of our troops and their families. Let us serve them as well as they've served us, by giving them the equipment they need, by providing them with the care and benefits that they have earned, and by enlisting our veterans in the great task of building our own nation. Our troops come from every corner of this country. They're black, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. They are Christian and Hindu. Jewish and Muslim. We got Muslim, it. we get it. And yes, we the know that some of them Muslim. are gay. What? Starting this year, no American will be forbidden from serving the country they love because of who like they love. For loving the suck of pot. Okay, fuck it. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> if you like to suck a cock, you can shoot a gun. I do agree with him there, too. Enough yeah, of keeping gays out of the military. Care. Gays want to go in there, have a have a pisser, have yeah, a field day. Yeah, more balls than me. Mm -hmm. well, you know. well, in their mouth, on <laughs> their so nose, speak. in their pockets. Uh, gonna, goes into combat uh, wearing a Roman war helmet like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Andy in Atlanta. Andy. Morning, boys. Look, Andy. What's up, Andy? Um, did you guys see in the section where he was talking about fame is not the answer to long-term success and all that crap, the lady that was uh, falling asleep? When they went to the crowd, they showed a uh, black lady sitting, obviously a member of Congress or something. She was dead asleep, and her head <laughs> just rolled right over, and it was the camera was dead on her. Oh, yeah. She was sleeping. Little snooze. Well, that's uh, because yeah. blacks are lazy, right? Ed? I'm well, snoozing. You know, Never <laughs> said that. <laughs> there are plenty of uh, wonderful African Americans out there. You'll that agree are that a white person could fall asleep too at the I State of the Union. I see them right? on every commercial. I see them on commercials for cereal. Uh, I see wonderful families eating together um, in cereal commercials. I see um, wonderful families uh, going to Disney. I see that on television. So they're out there. I know it. I've seen it. And finally, this from the State of the Union. We should have no illusions about the work ahead of us. Reforming our schools, changing the way we use energy, reducing our deficit. None of this will be easy. All of it will take time. And it will be harder because we will argue about everything. <laughs> The costs, the details, the letter of every law. Of course, some countries don't have this problem. If the central government wants a railroad, they build a railroad. Right. No matter how many homes get bulldozed. That's it. Like that. If they don't want a bad story in the newspaper, it doesn't get written. And yet, as contentious and frustrating and messy as our democracy can sometimes be, I know there isn't a person here who would trade places with any other nation on Earth. And that's all, folks. All right. State nice. of the Union. Nice well. finish. Nice big finish there. Good one. Mm. I'll pay for it. Don't worry. I got it. Hey, everybody. I'm like the guy that walks into the bar, only the whole the bar is the United States. Hey, everybody. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. I'm good. Obama says I got it. Just do whatever you need to do. I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll again say it. The 2% he's talking about make a lot of jobs for people. You tax them, the jobs go away, and uh, that's what happens. Sorry. It's just the way it is. You can see what happened with the economy. It wasn't uh, uh, taxes, but it was, uh, you know, companies fucking up. But the bottom line was a lot of businesses weren't getting the income that they had before. And what did they have to do? Fire people. And unemployment went up. Taxes, it's, it's like the same thing. You're taking money away from a company and they're not going to be able to hire as many people as they did. Unemployment goes up, and you end up where we are now. So, 
taxing the, the evil. Oh, the evil 2%. Oh, we're like Darth Vader's. It doesn't help the economy. Enough. There's a balance, motherfucker. And it's already way tilted. Way tilted. Flat tax. Everyone pays. Blow me. With that, Kevin in Wisconsin. Kevin. Hey, uh, I wanted to let Jimmy know that uh, having gays in the military, you know, I mean, it, it sounds good on paper and everything, but I did four years in the Marine Corps. There's no fucking way I'm going to serve with a guy like Fez. It, you, you automatically revert fucking... Ten years, you're, you're a bunch of juveniles, man, and, and you're constantly grabbing ass and and giving shit to your yeah. buddies. Dude, it's, hold, it's, hold on, Kevin. That's that that is the I got to say something. That's really stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's not that you don't want you don't want to be you don't want to have a fez next to you because because I don't even know if he's gay to be honest with you. Let's say he is. I have no idea, but you don't want fez near you because maybe he's a little unstable. Has nothing to do with this fez fucking isn't the kind of guy that would join. Right. It's not. It has nothing to do with his sexual preference. No. He's a, he's a little shaky on his feet. We all know that. But you talk, dude. I know what you're talking about military like guys. Like I said, I have no fucking idea what Fez's deal is. Military so. guys have a certain way of no, behaving. No, hold on, hold on. But the thing is, I know you just use him as an example. But even though like military guys have a certain way of behaving, and there will be annoying things that happen for you guys, like don't call each other fags, because you know, like that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But to me, man. Other countries do it, and if a guy wants to serve, they're braver than me. Like, any guy, a gay guy willing to go in there and fucking serve and possibly go to war is fucking braver than me. I never had the guts to do it, so I don't think I'm in a position to go, that guy can't do it. No, no. Okay, let him in, but I'm just saying, the guy is going to get so much shit, he's probably going to want to put a bullet in it, and it's just the way that people are. But, dude, the, don't forget, there's been gays in the military since the U.S. existed, since the Ro since Rome. There's always, they've always been there. Since the Revolutionary War. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now they just don't have to, and they're in every other facet of life. It's like you work with gay guys, or you have gay guys in school, or, or, or you know, whatever. Since so it's not like it's a foreign being that they're shipping in and only putting in the military. Yeah, since the Revolutionary War, who do you think was uh, playing the, the fife? Oh, yeah, you should see right <laughs> after they painted that, he put the fife up his ass. Right, that was, that was a, great. No straight man would be playing the fife no. on the on the battlefield. Fife. <laughs> the different, the gay guys now, at least you'll know, you'll know who not to show your cock to. It's like, don't, believe me, they've been looking at your dick. Every shower you took, one gay guy was staring at your fucking hog. <laughs> at least now you'll know who they are and you'll just turn the other way. Yeah. Turn your no, turn your ass to him. Paper, but I guarantee it would never work. And why don't they take a, a vote of the guys that are in the military? Don't, I guarantee it'd be ninety percent against and, and maybe ten percent for the gays. Isn't there like isn't there like psychological testing and all that? So it has nothing to do with actually being gay. It's ha it's how stable you are as a human being. And I think then the military realizes that, and then maybe you get a little desk job somewhere. You're not getting a flamboyantly gay guy from the fucking uh, Halloween parade here in New York uh, that's going to go to the recruiting office and say, I want to be a Marine. It's not going to happen. You're, you're going to get normal guys that just like the cock. Yeah. It's, you know, like I said, it looks good on paper, but I guarantee you, it, you know, I just like the fact that, and no, 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 look, look, kids, man. fuck oh, everything. Stop. I like the fact that the new doll is coming out. The G.I. Mo is uh, coming out. <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting them all. And the Kung Fu grip is in his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, have a good day, boys. All right. All right, man. Well, what are you going to do? That fucking... <laughs> Guy doesn't want the gays in the military. Uh, Keith in uh, Connecticut. Keith. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. hey. Anthony, after you watched the speech last night and you were nice and happy, did yeah. you happen to go out in the garage and see the empty space where your Mustang used to be? Yeah, that was pretty hard to do. Uh, where are you at with your yeah. queasiness? Where are you at with your car? Uh, well, the uh, the uh, dizziness uh, pretty much gone. Good. Completely. Um, yeah, I did some of the... Dr. S Dr. Steve, he sent me some of those head exercise things to do. And I did them, and uh, it worked. Yeah, it's fucked up. So, uh, yeah, the dizziness is, uh, I'd say, about 90% gone. And uh, today i got to go and, and pick the car up, put it on another flatbed, and send it to uh, my garage. You tweeting some pictures of that shit today or what? I will today. <laughs> I'll, I'll take some pictures today and then, and then tweet it. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's what it is. They're, it, they're now calling it a wild ride. Wild ride. Because the door was open on a trade. <laughs> fucking media should just, they should all yeah, be break. fucking killed. They're just terrible. A wild ride. I guess there's no news today. People are getting in some nice fresh air on the train. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, probably stunk in there anyway. 
wild people. ride. What's wrong with what's <laughs> wrong with everybody? Let's go to Don in Jersey. Don, what's going on? Hey there, Dan. Hey guys, what's up? Listen, Anthony, my nephew is starting college next year. Can we have some money? Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'll, I'll send some over. Why? Why should I have to send you money? Why not? You're a millionaire. Uh, yeah, and I earned it. So why don't you go earn it? <laughs> well, the college thing's out of control. Well, well, there's gonna be some rioting over college fucking. World costumes. needs ditch diggers too, you know. That that is the biggest scam going. You could save a shitload of money in in that area. Mm. Here's a major in the army. He wants to talk uh, to that guy that just called in, uh, Jason in Ohio. Yeah, guys, how you doing? What's hey, up, man? Uh, yeah, that that gentleman who just called in was completely ignorant and out of out of line. Uh, I've been working on different referendums and policies in my job as a lawyer in the military to get this passed. I've also got experience as a combat arms officer. Uh, and, and here's the gist of it. Uh, there have been gay guys serving forever. You're going to call them a faggot anyway. You get over it and you fight together. Uh, that was just a typical ignorant response. Yeah, I think when, the, as they call it, the shit goes down. Uh, as long as he's well trained and know that shit goes down, oh, but, down your balls. But Jason, that's <laughs> I was in the shit. We know. Jason, that's the problem, though. I mean, people certainly feel that way. Yeah, it, I'm sure he's it, not the only one that feels that way. No, and I would say he's in the minority, whether he thinks he's in the majority or not. Yeah, you think but it's a minority reason, now that think that way? Well, the reason you don't pull soldiers is because it's a command decision. Yeah, it's not a fucking uh, democracy in the military. You fucking do what no. you're told. No. When I was a little fucking grunt and I got told to move out and draw fire, that's what I did. I went and shot al Qaeda in the face, uh, mm. and that's because I was told to do it. And I was Is it there. true the gays don't want to call grunt, they want to call grok? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I haven't heard anything like that. Cunt? Uh, cock? See? <laughs> wow. I didn't get it. Oh, holy shit. Let the gay guy drop this bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the only issue you really run into is housing. Uh, Enlisted mm. throughout the military, you're saying, well, how do you house gays? You have to house them separately. They cost gays. more money. Just live with the gays. Yeah. yeah. Really? You're sleeping what? You're going to get a cock up your ass? Yeah, really. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll like be just fine for everybody. Just think at the bars. It could be so much easier because uh, you could get four gay guys on one bar stool if you just turn it over. <laughs> well, that's one way to look that at That old it. gag. I'm sure, I'm sure the uh, Coast Guard would be in favor of that one. Oh, you're saying the Coast Guard has a lot of uh, maybe... Mm -hmm? Uh, yeah, Coast Guard definitely sucks more dick than any other force. Wow. wow I, I heard that on their uh, commercial for uh, recruiting. They suck more dick. <laughs> you could put that on a banner ad somewhere. Some fucker will buy it. Some Coast Guard guy is like, so pissed right now. And this guy's uh, pro <laughs> I know. in the military, and he's saying that. See, but this is the shit what, that happens. What a wonderful get, world. You just get guys, they're going to make fun. They're yeah, guys are going to be guys shit. in the end. Fuck it. But uh, <laughs> if someone's shooting at you, you're not going to give a shit if that guy's gay next to you, if he's you know, proficient with a gun. No. One, one of my best friends came out of the closet about a year and a half ago after we got back from a deployment. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, his name is Steve. Um, well, this guy uh, couldn't be a better officer. Uh, I don't care if he's gay or not, because in a firefight, he was uh, he was a good guy to have on your Did side. Did you know that he was gay or suspect? Oh, yeah. No, no doubt about it. Um, he would make impromptu. I was in a, the 3rd Infantry Division out of Savannah, Georgia. Right, okay. And this guy would make impromptu trips to Atlanta, just go, oh, I'm going to visit friends. Oh, and friends. Finally, we were like, yeah, dude, who are you going to visit? Who do you go every other weekend to see? When when you had a when you had a be on point, did, were you nervous when he said, "I'll be right behind you"? <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't work like that. We were in a different unit, but I definitely would have worn a uh, ballistic armor on my asshole. Around him. <laughs> That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna start wearing ballistic armor instead of just vest. They'll they'll pad their asses with it. <laughs> yes, yeah, Kevlar on your bunger. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, take it easy. Let me say hi to Paul. Paul, what's going on? Hi, it's yeah, the Greg, Obi and Greg. Anthony show. Hey, that Paul. Hi. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say, I think it would all mess up because uh -oh. you're not going to have a bunch of guys, junior Marines, junior Army guys, follow a gay leader. It's just not going to happen, especially down the range, especially in combat. Yeah. I just don't think, you know, those going to follow someone who's gay. And if you come out, you don't you go away from the don't ask, don't tell. Those going to follow that. I don't think it's, here's what, here's the deal. I don't think it's so much that you're going to get this influx of flamboyantly gay guys in the military. I think nothing's going to change aside from the fact that gay guys aren't going to have to worry that if it does come out that they're going to lose their career. 
I think it's just going to be the same guys that have been leading you or the same guys you've been leading. And uh, there's going to be no huge change in uh, the way, the way uh, gays act in the military. I don't see it happening like that. Yeah, I mean, you got a good point on that. I mean, I, I'll, you know. Yes, I do. All right, Paul. <laughs> Anything All right. else? Touchdown, guys. All right, thank you. Let's go to uh, Greg on Long Island. Greg? Greg? Greg. All right. What's happening? He's got echo. 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 Now batting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number 25. Right, this guy has a story about Some guy. Charlie, Rhode Island. Number 25. Hey, hey Charlie. How you doing, boys? What's up? Hey, not much. Hey, we talk, I was talking to my dad. <sighs> uh, he's in the military. He's a 20-year uh, Marine Corps vet. He didn't say that he's all for it with his hand in his pants, did he? <laughs> <laughs> he, he his opinion is that during a firefight, all they're going to want to do is suck each other's cocks and fuck each other in the ass. It's hysterical the way he thinks about that. Oh, my God. He's old school. Old huh? school guy, right? Mm. Oh, oh, my God. It's hysterical. I, I never stop laughing for him. Yeah. Attention. I hear you. All right, brother. <laughs> I guess we could take a break here. Oh, my God. Thank you, Charlie. Hey, how come no one's talking about energy prices? I did talk about that for four hours on a date recently. <laughs> right into the girl's oh, okay. vagina. <laughs> I didn't even lick. I just talked energy prices at her clit. She get off? <laughs> yeah. Her stupid vagina looked at me like a horse mouth, but smelled worse. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Big dopey horse lips. <laughs> Faded. Faded an apple. <laughs> Faded an apple. <laughs> yes. A oh. Granny Smith green. I just shoved it in and I heard key runch. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't stick my dick in there. <laughs> All right, boys. That was a good thing. All right, man. Thanks. <laughs> I think we covered it. Oh, God. Quick break. And, uh, yeah, this law they want to pass, or this idiot wants to pass. Yeah. And it's, once again, about just trying to get more money from us. That's oh, all this is about, obviously. We'll explain next. <laughs> 